Hi there, thanks for joining my, me in this video. Uh, like I said in my previous video before, um, when I reviewed Hypnotic Poison by Christian Dior, I said I would review Gucci Rush. So that's what I'm gonna be reviewing today. And uh, as you can see, this perfume kind of looks weird. It's in a box. I kept the box. The box actually comes this way. So let's talk about the perfume. So this perfume is known as uh, like a stimulating floral perfume. The idea of this came from a stimulating drug that was popular in the 80s. Some people speculate that it's the drug poppers. Some people even said that it's inspired by cocaine. Um, I wouldn't know. I've never tried either one of those. But um, it's supposed to give you that kind of exhilaration when you smell this perfume. So this came out around 1999, and it's made by Michel Almorac. And uh, he's done a number of perfumes under his list. Um, he's done quite a few for the brand Bond Number no. 9. That's the, I believe that's the Saks Fifth Avenue brand in the United States. Bottega Veneta, he's done quite a few of those. Uh, he's done uh, Burberry Body as well as the Flankers. He's done the original Chloe as well as the Flankers. And he's done Fahrenheit by Christian Dior. So the top notes of this perfume are gardenia, freesia, and peach. Middle notes are jasmine, Turkish rose, and coriander. And it has a base of vanilla, patchouli, and vetiver. So um, with this perfume, um, it is an interesting one. Um, it has interesting reviews. Uh, this has become a signature scent for many people. Um, it's also... Um, has kind of like this uh, stimulating quality about it. It's a very interesting perfume. Not only does it smell interesting, um, but the packaging itself. So like I said, this is uh, looks like a cigarette case. And as you can see, this is where you I've purchased it. <laughs> so I just kept it because I thought it looked really, really cool this way. And I really like how it slips out um, of the case. and here you could see the barcode and everything and then here is where the actual name of the fragrance is and uh, so we're gonna turn this around and it slips out like this it's actually upside down and it looks like uh, like a video cassette it's really really cool it's got a really party feel to it the whole um, look of it the smell of it um, yeah it makes you think of like you know, Friday, Saturday nights back in like 1999. I was too young to party at that age when I was um, in 1999, but I really do like things about that era for sure. And uh, so you can see here, the case is completely red, very kind of modern 90s look about it. When I you. I am actually kind of a geek, so I um, really like to play video games. And one video game this reminds me of is uh, the game Mirror's Edge, from the first Mirror's Edge for PS3. The way it looks, uh, the way it smells, how it just kind of gives you that exhilarating kind of... Um, you smell it, and it kind of goes like right in your nose. <laughs> Um, and I feel like, and that whole game is just so fast paced, it's running, there are doors that you have to open, key doors that are this color of red, and just the whole character in the game reminds me of that. It also reminds me of the character played by Helena Bonham Carter, Marla, in Fight Club. It reminds me of that too. So it makes me think of like a girl with smudgy eyeliner or like graphic liner like the character Faith in Mirror's Edge video game with short dark hair, um, a little bit tomboyish, a little bit unhinged, but a very interesting kind of person. So that's what I think of when I think of this fragrance. So let's get into the smell of it. So I'm going to spray it on a piece of paper. And as I am uh, letting this dry. This is an eau de toilette version. There has been only an eau de toilette version. And this can retail, I bought this at Shoppers Drug Mart for 
$90 and this is the 50 mil. It comes in 30 mil and 50 mil. 100 mil I haven't seen in a very long time. But you can also get the Sephora for about $90 as well. And 30 mil I believe is around $70, but I just got the 50 mil. And before I mention this, the perfumer also made Gucci Rush too as well. So as I smell this, I could smell it right away. Uh, it's got amazing projection. So as I'm smelling this on the paper, I do smell a little bit of the peach. I smell it a little bit powdery as well, as well as the gardenia and the jasmine. The jasmine kind of gives it this like variation of scent. Uh, jasmine in itself has kind of this weird like buttery, almost plasticky scent to it. I also find that jasmine tea smells a little plasticky as well. So I've heard a lot of people say that this smells like plastic to them and that's why it also makes me think of that video game as well. It has this like really modern scent to it and it's very strange because my boyfriend smelled this and he thought it smelled very matronly. I highly disagree. Um, yeah, it definitely smells like plastic and especially when it dries down. So that's how it smells on paper. And now I'm going to spray it on my skin. And I got a little bit on my jacket, but that's okay. And you can see that evaporated quickly. Mm, on my skin, it does definitely smells more floral, absolutely. But and it has more of um, the note of peach is coming out a lot more as well, as well as vanilla. So as this perfume dries down, and let me tell you something: for an eau de toilette, this lasts a really long time. It's quite amazing how long it lasts. I know I mentioned that hypnotic poison lasts a long time on the skin, about four to five hours, but this lasts a about a full eight hours on my skin. It's absolutely amazing. I, I cannot believe it. And for the price point, it's not bad actually. Um, and I find that with this fragrance, I only need to use a couple sprays and it lasts me all day. I even smell it on my clothes the next day. It's crazy. So I don't smell any patchouli at all. I smell a hint of vetiver and I, the sweetness definitely comes from vanilla. But I feel like it's the combination of the peach and the jasmine because the peach is obviously going to be synthetic. Um, <clears throat> it comes out more like of a plasticky kind of smell. Now this was marketed for women, but I feel like a guy could also wear this as well. If he doesn't find it too sweet, I think he could definitely wear it. Um, when I do smell it, I do have this like slight tickle in my throat. It's really interesting. So I feel like that maybe is what's supposed to be like the stimulating thing about it. Um, and it is a little bit heavy. I would say that this is more of a nighttime fragrance for sure. Just the way it looks and everything. Um, but I would say also that you could wear this like nighttime any time of the year. Um, in the heat, it's okay. It doesn't it do, it's okay in the heat, but I feel like in the, um, like more in like the fall and the spring, it's when it's really tends to do its best at night. And it's just a really great fragrance. If I had to rate it, I'm honestly going to rate it a 9.5 out of 10. And the reason why I'm only giving, <laughs> taking away a half point is because it's just not for everybody. It is a little bit polarizing, but anyway, thank you for watching.